Shalom, shalom. shalom. Keep us a sheet back on the highways and byways, prophesying downfall of America, uh, aka Rome 2.0. We like to first start off giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Most High, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom and Shalom to the hopeful elect. All right. Uh, today's lesson will be titled The Rich Man Will Lose His War and the Poor Man Will Win the World. All right. And it's really inspired by, by, by the war going on over there in Israel, man, with uh, Israel and Hamas. Okay, uh, I know it's, it's it's easy to get caught up in uh what, what Esau show you on the news, what Esau show you on social media, and uh we we get sidetracked forgetting that you know we got our own war. You feel we, we got a spiritual war. You feel me? And, and the Most High, Most High, He said He gonna he, the Most High gonna handle Esau. You feel me? That's what He doing now. He uh He said He He said He begin to visit the world which He made, and that's what He doing. How He visiting the world through earthquake, uh, through pestilence. And now through the sword, man, through famine, you feel me? You, you got a lot of people being killed. You got uh, Esau sending off thousands of missiles, man. You got you got babies being beheaded. You got women being raped. These, which could say, these are the beginning of the sorrows. It, it, it said, they said the time shall wax cold. Roughly paraphrasing, but uh, like I said, we just can't get caught up in. We, we, we can't get caught, we, we can't forget that. He, he, you feel me? What the Lord say? He said, "Vengeance is His, man." So, so the Lord going the Lord gonna do His part. Uh, you feel me? Uh, avenging us with Esau, we just gotta do our part. You know, prophesying downfall of America, man. Winning in the spirit. And um, so uh, scripture that said about, <clears throat> about the uh, about vengeance. Let's see. Uh, man, I just met. Just a quick point. <clears throat> I was gonna mention like the brother was saying, man. This is the beginning of sorrows and all these, you know, events that's gonna take take place on the earth, man. Just like like they've been saying. Uh, like I've been seeing on Instagram lately with the post, like, like they say, it's the birth pain. It's like, like, the right. most I describe it when the woman about to have birth. These are the pains before the birth come, you know, these are the contractions and all that, and all that. And it, they come into it. And what's ultimately what's going to be born is what? That new kingdom of heaven, man. Through the Lord, through Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shah, man. You feel me? Let man, you know, <clears throat> getting raised up, man. That's going to be that, that, that new birth, the, the new birth of a new heaven, a new world, man, in, in the end of this world, man. That's right, man. Uh, but yeah, man, he gonna like, like I said, he he, he gonna he gonna he, he, he gonna lose in the spirit and he gonna lose in the flesh, o only because when, 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 in the book of Revelation, uh, roughly paraphrasing about the about the war in heaven, man, when, 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 when that time, when, when, cause 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 ultimately, ultimately all these wars, the war, the war with Russia and Ukraine, the war with Israel and Hamas, ultimately just gonna lead to World War Three, all right? And World War Three, uh, that's the end of the world, man. So, like I said, he, he, he gonna lose in the spirit and he gonna lose in the flesh, all right? Uh, that's awesome. Since that, uh, that point that you was making about the Lord, the Lord gonna, gonna bend. Right. This is his, you know, it's, right. not, it's not our job. Especially like, you know, just in the, uh, just in the, in the carnal sense. You know, that's why, you know, your house should I say, you know what I'm saying, being man, smite me. You know what I'm saying, turn on the cheek. It's not, it's not our job to be a binge of people, you know what I'm saying? If somebody do something to you and your family, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, like the elders always say, like, you know, you know, we, you, you gotta be smart with it. Like if somebody, you know, come up trying to beat you, I mean, you can defend yourself. Right. But like if something happens, you you ain't supposed to be going back plotting, trying to feel how am I gonna get my revenge? Nah, it's, you know what I'm saying? You you know that his his life is ultimately up to the Lord's man. But this uh Luke 18 and um I started six. It says, and the Lord say, and the Lord said, hear what the unjust just saith, and shall not the and shall not the Most High avenge his own elect, which cried day and night unto him, though he bear long with them. I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on earth. So he's saying he's he going to avenge you speedily, man. But you got to make sure when the Son of Man come, you know what I'm saying, when, 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 when the Son of the Most High come, you know what I'm saying, Yahweh Shah, when he come, is he going to find faith on earth? You know what I'm saying? Are you keeping that faith that he will avenge you, that you ain't got to worry about taking revenge, you know what I'm saying? Like that on, on E, or Esau, you know what I'm saying? You ain't got to worry about taking revenge on Ishmael, you know what I'm saying? All the other heathens. You know? Are you, are you going gonna, gonna to keep that faith, you know what I'm saying? Because you got to endure to the end. So, uh, Luke 18 and 7 it says and shall and shall not the most high avenge his own elect which cried day and night unto him though he bear long with them I tell you that he will avenge them speedily nevertheless when the son of man cometh shall he find face on earth Shall lose, and the, and the poor man shall 
Now we, so I'm gonna read this real quick in James 25. This is the book of James, chapter 2, and verse 5. It reads, Hearken, my beloved brother, have not your have chosen the part of this right? Start back, in, start back from the top, man. It's the book of James, chapter 2, and verse 5. Hearken, my beloved brethren, have not Yahweh chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith and errors of the kingdom, which he have promised to them that love them? But ye have despised the poor. Do not the rich man oppress you and draw you before the judgment seat. So like the most I tell you, man, and the, and the most I have chosen and the poor of this world, man, going into the title, hey, who is the poor of this world, man, Israel, man, the elect, man, it's, it's elect, man, those, the, those that's going through it on the daily, you know, dealing with the curses and dealing with, with, with society, dealing with Esau, man, and it's kingdom. And that's why it says, oh, in verse six, he says, but ye have despised the poor, do not rich men oppress you and draw you before the judgment seats, man. Who are those, who are those rich men that oppress us, man? Uh, oppress us what? Esau, Edom, man, and going to the, the other nations that oppress us on the daily, man. You feel me? These the rich men that's, that's going to lose. These the rich men that, that's not, you feel me, and, and, and they, and they like coming at the end, they're going to receive that judgment from y'all by Shemiah and Shah. But what, like he said, hey, the, the, the poor of this world, man, those that's rich in faith, and them the ones that's going to be saved. Like, like, just like the scripture the brother read before. When he comes, Shah, he found faith. You know, who, ultimately, the only people that's going to have that faith when he comes is the elite, man. Those are going to be the uh, only man, the only people that standing on earth that's going to be leading the Yahweh by Shemiah and Shah, man, waiting on his return. Uh, that's what the verse says. Shah, you know, he been just only elect, you know what I'm saying? Like, at the end of the day, man, all this is about the elect. You know what I'm saying? Because those are going to be the ones. Those are the, the true believers of the Lord. Those are the Lord, man. Those are the ones that you know that He holds dear to His heart. You know, you, know, you got your two thirds. You got the rest of Israel. You know what I'm saying? That He also loves. Because if He didn't, you know what I'm saying? He wouldn't worry about bringing them back into the kingdom through, through regeneration. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, that you know what I'm saying? They let that 144 and, and the rest of that great multitude. Those, those, you know what I'm saying? Those are the ones that He really holds true, 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 uh, true and near to His heart. Those are the ones who really do, do, do the work. Uh, this is the book of Matthew, the fifth chapter, <clears throat> and verse 3. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth, man. Who is the meek, man? The one that is long suffering. You know what I'm saying? Going through that, you know. Uh, you know, uh, like you say, the definition meek, quiet, gentle, easily imposed on submission. And say, similar, patient, long suffering. For bearing, hey man, that's what we gotta do. Hey, we been patient for you. How about you? See y'all shop, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, we just wait on these last few properties to roll by, man. You know what I'm saying? We know, hey, we gonna be the, uh, out of this place, man. Hey, hey, hey Esau, he down there, and they're gonna be out of rulership, man. Uh, we need to get from the top. It's the book of Matthew, <clears throat> chapter 5, and verse 3. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek. For they shall inherit the earth. All right, just like the scripture said, man, blessed, blessed are the poor, for the kingdom is theirs. Just like I read in James, who, who is the poor of this world? The rich in faith, man, they elect, man. The men of y'all, by y'all shot, they had predestined and chosen, man. And just like it said, uh, those that mourn, they shall be comforted, man. Who are who the state of mourning, man? Who are who the lowest state, man? Who, 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 who to tell, man? Feel me? That, that's going to the curses, man. Back to what we read in the scriptures, man. And, and they should be the head, or we should be the tail. Who the last in today's society, man? We the only ones going through money. We the only ones at ABT can't get can't get a job. We the only ones out here, you feel me? Uh, on dope, struck out on crack, on all kind of drugs. Drunk, we, we the only people out here you see stacking around in the highways, byways, drunks. You know what I'm saying? We the only ones that struggle to keep a job, that struggle to pay rent, that trying to trying to get a little bit of food. We the only people that's in money shit, man. The rest of the world living deliciously out Babylon the Great, man. You feel me? Everybody else, they they, they, they fat, they build it full, man. You see know what I'm saying? They good. We the only people that's in money shit. I'm trying to grab this real quick, but brother, you got this something. I got it. I was just gonna bring out this quick point, just like brother saying, man. We, you know, what I'm saying in the in the, in the you know, saying the worldly mindset, we are the poor of this world. You know, what I'm saying like you said, we are the lowest state. We don't got all the inheritance from you know, what I'm saying our forefathers and all this thing. You know, what I'm saying we got the greatest inheritance. You know, what I'm saying when you when you look at it from a from a wider from a broader perspective, but looking at it from like a worldly perspective, you know, what I'm saying we ain't have millions of dollars passed down to us. We ain't have a bunch of land passed down to us. You know, what I'm saying, but. You know what I'm saying? The ones that are like that, you know what I'm saying? Those are the, the ones that are truly rich. This is, um, I mean, how should I say this? Revelations 2 and 9, it says, I know thy works and tribulation and poverty. So he's saying, I know, you know what I'm saying? I know the things I had to go through, you know what I'm saying? Y'all tribulation, y'all poverty. We're, we're, you know what I'm saying? As a nation, that's, you know what I'm saying? That's who we are, you know? You got the, you got the, um, Hispanics, you know what I'm saying? Well, they they just known as workers, you know what I'm saying? Known people who, you know what I'm saying? Who get, who get down and go to work, you know what I'm saying? You got, 
you know what I'm saying, your so-called African Americans, you know, it's, it's pretty obvious, you know, we went through, you know what I'm saying, that the whole slavery with Esau and everything. And, and so, uh, likewise with uh, the Native Americans, you know. But it says, um, the, the very next part, it says, but thou art rich, you know what I'm saying? So that's, you know, he, he's saying he knows our property, he knows our tribulation, but we're rich, you know what I'm saying? We're rich in what? That, that, that true inheritance that we get, you know what I'm saying? The ultimate, the ultimate gift, you know what I'm saying? The, um, the, the, the kingdom, you know what I'm saying? Because that's, that's built for us, you know what I'm saying? It's made for us, you know what I'm saying? The true beliefs of the Lord. But um, that's the point of that verse, but I'm going to finish it up for the for the scripture's sake. It says, and I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, for are the synagogue of Satan. You know what I'm saying? We know who those people are. Those those people, you know what I'm saying, over there in the Holy Land right now, you know what I'm saying? The little, the little uh, the hatters, you know what I'm saying? The people who wear them, wear them little hats, saying they, saying they, you know what I'm saying? Saying they're Jewish. 48ers. You know what I'm saying? Start, start. They started in 1948, you know what I'm saying? They're not the true inhabitants of that land. You know what I'm saying? They, they just moved there, you know? But, uh, but, but listen, listen. Yeah, quick point, but like, 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 like he said, I know them that say, you feel me? Same way he say he know us, he know the wicked too. And, 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 and like the Lord said, when he come, man, he gonna come get everybody, they, 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 they just reward. So that's what he doing right now. The same way he say he know them, they say they are Jews. He's showing you that he know them. And how he's showing us that he know us? By giving us the spirit. By giving, you feel me? By, by giving us the mission. You feel me? By, by giving us that faith, you feel me? But that's all. I'm gonna just bring this out real quick. Just going still out that point about us in the state of mourning because when you in the state of mourning, you're going through something, you're being afflicted. You see what I'm saying? Let's just real quick. This uh 2 Corinthians 4 and 17, it says, For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, working for us a far and more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. Because we in that state of mourning shit, we're going through that light affliction that the most high putting us through. Like I'm just telling you, it's a light affliction. It says, For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, Working for us a far and more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. So this is a, a light affliction only for a moment, man. It's not forever, man. You know what I'm saying? It was only meant for for, for Esau, feel me? And he smiled, has the rule for for a small period of time, man. And then would like like I said, feel me? I, 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 this right here is for our uh, eternal weight of glory, man. It says far more exceeding eternal weight of glory. Because when we get to the kingdom of heaven, it's gonna be eternal, man. It's gonna be forever, man. It's gonna be real glory, man. Esau think you know his kingdom of glory is our kingdom gonna be. It's gonna be forever, man. It's gonna be things you can't even imagine, man. But then just real quick, myself that, let me grab uh, grab this too. Because, you know, just being in that state of mourning, that, that's good, like the scripture tell you, man. Because like I was saying, the rest of the world, they happy, man. They, they, they feel me? They, they, they live in delicious. They, they, they good. They in that they they, uh, state of mirth. They stay there, you know, a uh, laughter, happiness, man. You see what I'm saying? They're not, they're not serious about the time that's going on. And it's like I was listening to a lesson on the way uh, here, like the brothers, the uh, man of Valley, New Jersey, was saying, man, Hey, if this the time to really be more serious than ever about the truth, man. Be more, be more serious than ever about putting the work, man. Be more serious than ever, you know, about your salvation, man. Cause, cause judgment right there at the door, man. It ain't, it ain't no, you, it ain't no ducking the judgment of, of the Lord, man. It ain't no getting by, man. You know how you think you, you can do something at home and you get away with it, your parents ain't gonna know about it, man. Hey, the most I know about it, man. He gonna bring it all to light, man. You ain't gonna build a duck judgment, man. You not gonna build a, you know, oh, I got away with it, I'm good. You know, y'all wish I he, he got me, he come back, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? You not gonna be able to get away with it. But this is the point about uh, the, the morning. This is the book of uh, the book of Sirach, chapter seven and three. It says, "Sorrow is better than laughter, for by the sadness of the countenance, the heart is made better. The heart of the wise is in the house of mourning, but the heart of the fools is in the house of mirth." So it's good to be in, in, in you know in the house of mourning, man. You know, you know, uh, being sad, man, being serious about this thing. You know, going through our afflictions and, and our mourning, because what it said, it made the countenance of the heart better, man. Not the Lord tell me, man, it's better better to be in the, uh, the house of, of mourning, man. Not the Murphy, man. Because when you when you in it, you in it, spirit of Murphy and folly, you know that's what that's how you were dozing. That's how you, you carry now. You, you know you don't get caught on the wall like we were going to last week, man. Cause you too busy trying to laugh and have a good time, man. You know you feel you gonna get caught off guard. And then just for uh, edification's sake, I just got the definition of Murphy. This is the definition of Murphy. It says amusement, especially as expressed in laughter. So everybody want to be amused, man. The whole world want to be amused. You feel me? They want to be entertained, you know. They want to be entertained by the, by the football games, by the basketball games, you know, things that's going on in the world. It's, you know, just get get a good laugh for the stuff, man. And that's why that's why that's why us, the world they laugh and they just off the profits, man. Cause they ain't that spirit of mirth, man. They ain't that spirit of amusement. They, they get an amusement out of this. This is serious business, man. You know, we're not we're not out here coming in out here to, to amuse anybody. We're not out here coming out here trying to. You know, make anybody feel good, tell your foot, feel good story, tell you the Lord for everybody, man. It's serious business, man. Y'all watch me outside. It's going to return to judge this place, man.
apostles and elders always say, man, this is not for entertainment. You know what I'm saying? People, you know, people, especially like these other camps, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got your Sons of Thunder, you got your, you know what I'm saying? Uh, just you know, even IUIC, you know what I'm saying? They like they like to you know have people come up there so they can go back and forth. Gimmicks, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. They, they like clicks and views, you know what I'm saying? All these, you know, just like flashy, flashy shit. You know, things to catch your average Jake attention. You know, but um, just going back to the point about uh, like this not it's just not the time to you know just to be living life all you know uh, just like freely per se. You know what I'm saying? It's, 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 exactly. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a if, you, if you're a true man of the Lord, man, when you look at when you looking through the day to day, you just gonna see all you know. Like I'm like the scripture I'm finna read, man. All this vanity, you know what I'm saying? None of, every, everything, everything should, should vex you, you know what I'm saying? At this point, you know, you see people walking down walking down the street, you know, you might see a, a little uh, uh, what you want to call it, a leg bit person walking down the street, you know what I'm saying? You might you might just see a just just an Edomite, you know what I'm saying? Just just living just living freely, you know what I'm saying? Somebody driving down the street with a flying high with an American flag, you know what I'm saying? All all these things that you see on the day to day basis should vex you. Right. So, so, um, so like before you say that, man, I ain't gonna lie, like, bro, this saying evil, damn, bro. I said I said on social media, I said you messing the hell out of my spirit. God, man, it, it, it does exactly. This shit is so annoying. Shit, man. embarrassing. It really is, man. Cause these are these are supposed to be our women. You know what I'm saying? These supposed to be, you know what I'm saying? The, the women that you know that we take care of, things of that nature. But they, you know, they wicked as hell. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they they want to be independent. They want to shop their BBLs. They said they want. Turkey said they want to bash us. As soon as they see a, as as they see a camera on them, they want to turn around and show oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But <coughs> we, we not, you know. But uh, like I said, this is uh, Ecclesiastes season one and uh, and fourteen. It says, "I have seen all the works that are done under the sun." You know what I'm saying? What is that talking about here? You know what I'm saying? Here on earth, right? It says, uh, "And behold, all is vanity and vexation of spirit, man." And so everything. You know what I'm saying? There's, 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 you know, every everything. Your job, you know what I'm saying? School, you know, like you were saying, like sports, you know, you want to watch TV, you know, anything, exercise, any, anything that you could possibly do, it's, it's vanity. It does not matter. If it's not, if it's not for the work, uh, for the work of your how about you have a shot, it's all vanity, man. It should be a best session of the spirit. When you wake up in the morning, you shouldn't be worried about well, how, how can I how can I uh make, you know, how can I make the boss happy at work? Man, tell with boss. Honestly, you know what I'm saying? You need to be worrying about what, what lesson can I do when I get off work? You know what I'm saying? Those are the things that, that you need to be worried about. Okay, this is the book of 1 John chapter 2 and verse 15. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. And it's self-explanatory, man. Verse 16, he said, for all this, or so like I say, for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world, man. So just like the brother was going into, man. You understand? Hey, all this shit is just a part of life, man. Just to really please the flesh. You understand? Verse 17 saying, The world passeth away and the lust thereof. But he that does the will of the most high Yahweh by Hashem Yahusha abide forever, man. About it forever. So hey man, hey, this world and the things in this world ain't hey, don't mean shit, man. All this shit finna go to pass. But he that does the will of the most high Yahweh by Hashem Yahusha about it forever man so hey man the most important thing to do is to uh do the will of the father man just like it uh get this real quick because that's the 12th chapter and verse 13 let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter fear your hour and keep his commandments for this is the whole duty of man man so the whole duty of man is to fear the most high yahweh by seeing you outside what's fearing the most high doing the work man doing his will Hey, the hell with these damn BBLs. You understand? These fast cars. <laughs> these fast cars. You know, the things in this world, man. Hey, the hell with it. You know, hey, we, we see, we see, uh, you know what I'm Hey, we see it with our spiritual eye, man. Hey, we see in the future, man. And the future of this place hey, is burning, is, uh, burning to the ground. Hey, what you say? It's still gonna be turned into a damn desert, man. Just think about the precept. Uh, paraphrasing. You know, like I said, seek, seek ye the kingdom of heaven first, and all these things shall be added unto you. You know, just going off y'all point, brother point. Like you said, man, you should be worried about how, how what I'm gonna do at work today, what I'm eating more, how, how can I please the boss, or how can I get a bonus on the job, or you know, these things in the world that, that, that people of the world think about on the daily, man. We, we, 
people, us being the men of the Lord, we ought to be seeking to keep them in heaven first at all times, man. And, and everything else that we need, most I gonna get us freely, man. You know, because these things we should, we don't, we don't supposed to be worried about. So you gotta understand, and, and that's you know, that's part of having that faith as well. You know, trusting in your power, man. Trusting in the Lord that, yeah, you, the Lord already know you need uh, brakes on your car. The Lord already know, you know, you short on money, you need that extra money. The Lord already know these things. The Lord know, He know you hungry. He feel like, like I said, uh, the scriptures paraphrasing. The fowls of the earth don't even worry about, you know, worry about what they gonna eat today. How much more us? He feed them on the daily, man. He making sure the birds eat. He making sure the fish eat. How much more the men of the Lord? How, how, how much more us, man? He feel like he's doing his work. So these things we shouldn't be worried about. We shouldn't be worried about. Nah, I know I need some new shoes. You know, I know I need this. But, you know, you gotta be seeking the kingdom of the heaven, like the brother said. You gotta be thinking about what well, listen you, you can do. You gotta be thinking about how can you please the Father on the daily, man. And, and everything else in life is gonna go smooth, man. What's up, man? Did you uh, did you read James four? James okay, so go, uh, just, just a quick point going, uh, you because I gotta, I'm gonna go back to the point about what she was like, uh, saying about how like this life, you know, saying like it's vanity going back to that point. But if you read up a little bit, this is James 4 and uh, 8. It says, Draw not to the most high, but he will draw nigh unto you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double minded. Be afflicted and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning. And your joy to the heaviness. So even going back to that point, you know what I'm saying? He, he's telling you to be afflicted. You know what I'm saying? Morning, week. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let your life to be be torn, be, be turned to mourning. You know what I'm saying? Because he these things like uh like like Paul said in uh came in his first Corinthians and second, but he was telling you know he uh he provoked you know what I'm saying the people into a, into a godly sorrows. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a uh, to sor uh, a godly repentance. You know what I'm saying? Roughly paraphrasing, but you know you. These are these are this is just the spirit that you, that you need to be in on a day to day basis. It's like it's like I'm cut you off kind of I don't get the point. Like, like I say, they provoke them to a godly sorrow, man. Could could the wickedness that you've done, like that you already committed, you're supposed to feel sorry about. It. I think it's a push up. I'm paraphrasing. Like it's a shame to even speak of those things, man. Like that we did. This shouldn't be. You know, people go most throughout the world. I used to do such and such, man. I shoot with guys blunts. I I really like. I shot such and such. Man. That's wicked. You should. It should be. You should feel ashamed to talk about your wickedness, man. You know, you should. Like you said, that godly sorrow, man. It should. It should make you feel bad. Man. It's supposed to be paraphrasing. The song, like, like the most I said, just like you were saying, like, let's be afflicted in that The most I said, he's near to them with a broken heart and, and a contrite spirit, man. You're supposed to have that broken heart and contrite spirit, man. No, no, you don't did bad to your Lord and Savior, man. I, I love husband, ultimately, you know what I'm saying? Just like a, a real wife that love her husband and know she did bad, she gonna feel sorry for her, man. She not gonna, hey, I cheated on him, you know. I, I'm like, y'all was out last night and I'm fuck that nigga, girl. You know how easy it is in the world, but like, you gotta be. to the most high and he will draw night to you cleanse your hands ye sin and pay up by your hearts ye double-minded so this is the book of Daniel chapter 12 verse 10 he say many shall be purified and made white so I see I can you be made purified and made white you know through this gospel you understand hey turn from your uh, evil way and turn it into doing the work that the Lord commanded us to do he say many shall be purified and made white and tried but the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand, man. So the wicked, the two-thirds, they ain't gonna understand. Hey, they the ones that call uh, evil good, and what, good evil, you understand? So they'll never understand this truth, man. They're the darkness, the way you say, but the wise shall understand, man, but the elect. Hey, the true men of the Lord, hey, they gonna understand, man. You understand, they gonna understand, hey, well, I gotta turn away from these wicked uh, deeds, man. You know, and, 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 and have major faith. Cause, hey, this thing is is about faith as well, man. You know, as long as the works, but faith is what's really gonna get you there, man. You understand? You go ahead with your point. Uh, okay, all right. So the point kind of passed, so this is cool. But I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna read this. This is Acts 20 and 24. It's uh, Paul speaking, right? It say uh, it said, but none of these things move me. Neither count I my life dear unto myself. So he's saying, like the life that he has, he don't he don't count to this up. You know, he don't he not uh he not holding on to this, to, 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 to this life. Just like um then you, then you, uh your house I say, you know what I'm saying? If you love your life, you know what I'm saying, you're gonna lose it, you know what I'm saying? But vice versa, if you, you know, if you hate your life, then you'll find it in the kingdom of heaven. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it says, so that I might finish my course with joy in the ministry which I have received of the Lord Yahweh Shah to testify the gospel of the grace of the most high man. Yeah, that's, 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 that's the whole point, you know what I'm saying? That's the, like he said in Ecclesiastes 12, you know what I'm saying? That's the whole duty of man, just, you know, to fear the most high, do his works, you know what I'm saying? Do what he commands you to do, you know what I'm saying? Nothing more, nothing less, you know? It, it, like, I, you, you know, like 
like I, even going back to that point when I said like going to work, you know, you want to please please the white man, you know what I'm saying? You want I can't just say the white man, but you want to please Esau, you know what I'm saying? You want to please Ishmael, Mo, uh, Moab, you know what I'm saying? All these other people, you know what I'm saying? You you should only be worried about pleasing the Most High, man. Anything more than pleasing the Most High, any any other any other person, you know what I'm saying? That that can be counted as an idol. Cause what? Cause what? You looking up to try to try to do this for this? Uh, that, that, those those are all those are idols. You know what I'm saying? In a sense, you know, you uh, you know, you you're not being that you not being that chance person that, that the most I want you to be. You know what I'm saying? You being a whore. You know, you, you flirt, you flirting with all these other things. You know what I'm saying? You you, you spending hours and hours and hours on, 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 on you know what I'm saying on something that don't that don't matter. That's gonna go away. You know? Oh well, matter of fact, since I said that, I can go back to that verse I was gonna bring up um, in James four. Because uh, James 4 and 14 says, Whereas ye know not what shall be on the morrow, for what is your life is even a vapor that appeared for a little time to vanish away, man. So, you know, you don't, you don't know. Well, let me, finish, let me finish the next verse. Verse 15, it says, For that ye ought to say, if the Lord will, we shall live or do this or that. Because you don't, you, don't, you don't know. You don't know what your life is over, man. You know, like people, people try to... Um, you know, I you know I live, I'm gonna live my life now, but I'm gonna get around with the Lord later. Man. That's, that's not how this works, man. You know what I'm saying? The most the most I could you could, he could judge you, you know, tomorrow, tonight. You know what I'm saying? In the next hour, you don't you don't know. That's why you gotta always make sure that you that you uh, that you doing your job. That you gotta you know you follow you you, you following the, the things that you're supposed to follow to the best of your ability. You know, because uh, you know, like I said, it, it, it could be it could be over in the flash. You know, you don't know. Nah, man, you're not the most high to be able to say that. Oh, I got this plan tomorrow. I'm gonna go to the bank, get this amount of money out, then I'm gonna go go shopping for my girlfriend, and then hey, then we'll go out to this restaurant, and then see then by seven o'clock we we'll go go to the movies. And, but you don't know the Lord the, how you know that the Lord got this set up for you, man. Everything ain't gonna go ain't gonna go as planned, man. But you got something to say real quick. Nah, I was gonna be a quick point, but just like what Roberto was saying that day, because uh, I was just saying I was, I was uh, gonna leave this job, and I'm thinking of job, and I'm about to say, man, hey, hey, I just wanna say, man, man's going up. Ultimately, it's up to the Most High, man. So you, you know, when, that's that's why this truth is so, is so, so, so precious, man. Because when you, you know, when you got this type of knowledge, you know, you you understand, it, it, you know, everything is of the Most High. Like I said, it, it's, it's no need to strive. That's why I say, well, you to strive against His Maker, man. You, you question the Most High, you uh, you question you question the Most High, trying to figure out, you know, what I'm saying why why this and that, why why uh, you know, I, I wish I wish this, or I wish that. You striving with your Maker, man. You you know what I'm saying. Who, who are you to think that, you know what I'm saying, that you, you got the ability to, to question the most high his plan, you know what I'm saying, for you for you and your life. You know, you, you, you are nobody, man. Like I said, your life ain't nothing but a vapor, right? You know, he control your spirit, you know? So, hey, yeah. what, what, what one to you strive for this man? Ah, that's a good point. It's like even going to the uh, point at work. It's just the same thing, like, you know, trying to please these women, man. Trying, you know, trying to do stuff for these girls, you feel me? You're going away from doing the, uh, the will of the most high, man. Now you're looking, now you're looking, you feel me? You're putting all your will, and you might get to make this woman happy, trying to please yourself, you know, trying to fulfill her needs. Like you said, you just gotta, you gotta pick up the people who are going to the most high, man. What will make some happy in the spirit, you know? What's going, what's, what's going to be, you know, go, go shave off, uh, shave off your sins, man, you know? Receive that forgiveness, that mercy from, from y'all, by you know what I'm saying, man? Yeah, I'll need that mercy, especially to the times we're coming to. Yeah. Hey, you know, like you, especially with the, with the women thing, man. You, you know, man, you may have a little chick that you're dealing with. You know what I'm saying? But she, she can make you go off so easily, man. You know, because like, I ain't, you know, being transparent, man. I'll be talking about like, it be, be the savage. You know what I'm saying? Your, your old lady, now she, now she want to get with you. You know what I'm saying? Now she want, now she want, now she want to get out. You know what I'm saying? It's the savage, man. You, you know, you can't do shit like that. You know what I'm saying? You know, or you know, she want to go to some place like. You know, some some crab some crab restaurant. You know, you know what I'm saying. You not we not 
you don't deal with shit like that, you know what I'm saying? But your your lady, you know what I'm saying, she don't take things like that so seriously. So when you when you when you trying to please when you trying to please your woman, you know what I'm saying? You you trying to make her, you know what I'm saying, make sure she don't leave you or uh, make sure she make sure she stay with you. You know what I'm saying? A, a, a weak a weak minded man, you know, he gonna fall into that thing. You know, she try she try to get with you on the Sabbath, you know, you might you might fall into it, you know what I'm saying? You know, things of that nature. You can't even look at uh uh with King Solomon, you know what I'm saying? He had he had what seven hundred wives, three hundred concubines, right? He was a he was the wisest man, you know what I'm saying, to live. You know, he had he had all the wisdom. You know what I'm saying? He had he had everything that he could possibly need, right? But guess what? You know what I'm saying? The women, the women turn turn him over to to uh to um to like to you know what I'm saying, serving serving false idols, like you said, man. Building building uh building you know idols and, and temples and things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? Old ceremonies for 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 you know what I'm saying for, for these false these graven images, these false images, man. That's what that's what women can do for you when you when you wrapped up in that, you know. I think you said that video uh, did, but I, I know, like a video was saying uh, Eve received the center of her own mouth, man. And just how wicked even women women is, man. Like they was made wicked, man. They just they just mischievous, man. They just they just it's just a spirit about women, not even just Eve. It's just a spirit about women, period, man. They're like they just feel me going back to, to the garden, to, to going back to the garden of Eden, man. You feel me? Women, women just they don't listen. They they just wicked, man. They wanna. And like, you know, it's talking about them, they just like getting in trouble, or, you know, they like, you know, doing things that they ought not to do, you know what I'm saying? Right. As more men, we more disciplined, we more, we know, okay, the Lord said don't do this, or I know I'm supposed to do this, but I ain't gonna do this, but women, it's something about, oh, I know I'm supposed to do this, I'm, I'm gonna do it anyway, you know what I'm saying? They got that rebellious spirit on them, man, you know what I'm saying? Man, that's the thing about being in this truth, man, hey, you gotta be called discipline, man. You understand? It's so easy to give it to the flesh, man. It's so easy to try to please others. Hey, man, we gotta try, man, we gotta please the most high. You understand? We gotta please Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah, man. Just like this past Sabbath, uh, you know, Eve came to the crib and shit. You understand? She tried to have sex. I'm like, nah, you kidding me? She's standing and begging me. I'm like, no. Went to sleep on her ass, shit. Said she went to sleep mad, but said, at least I went to sleep, you know, <laughs> at least I went to sleep, you feel me, not feeling disappointed, you know what I'm saying, not feeling like you feel she me, but she woke up some shame, man, you feel exactly, like, like, damn, man, man, I really did that shit, shit, right afterwards, I would have felt like that, so, you know, said, it's better to please the most high than to please down here. This is, uh, this is First Timothy 2 and 13, it say, for Adam was first formed, then Eve, and Adam not was not deceived, but the woman was deceived, but the woman being deceived was in a transgression. I'm saying so, it, you know, like I say, man, women. At the end of the day, man, you you, you trying to please women, man. She gonna she gonna turn you over, man. She you know you put you putting all your all your uh, all your effort into you know what I'm saying trying to trying to make this woman feel good, trying to make this woman happy, man. Yeah, you hell with that feelings. You know what I'm saying? Uh, quick precept. Uh, it's John six and it just, just just going off the brother's point, like he said, uh, and, and going even going back to Adam and Eve. And, you, you, you really got the whole world in the spirit of Eve, you feel me? And, and, and Eve, who Eve got that spirit from? You feel me? Esau Edom, man, taking eating that forbidden fruit. So it's like, uh, like, 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 like the brother said, he didn't, you feel me? He didn't have six on the Sabbath, you know, being that he trying to keep the commandments to the best of his ability, you feel me? So it's like, he, he, even, he, like he said, even even when you woke up, you feel me? After you, after you would have felt that shame. But it's like, right, even, even it, but that's how you know the flesh, this flesh really ain't. What, what, what everybody think it is, you feel me? That's, that's why we got. That's why we. That's why we need to corrupt the body, you feel me? Them, them incorrupt the body. But it's like uh, after after you have sex with a woman, you feel me? You, you be like, damn, get away from me, you feel me? You, you, you be like, damn, you feel me? You don't feel that. You don't feel that fish. You feel me? I, I could have went without that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. But this is the book of uh, John six and sixty three. <clears throat> it is the spirit that quickeneth the flesh, profit of nothing. So and, and that's, that's really the point, man. The, the, the flesh probably enough, like it, it's like right here. You you will you feel me? You like I said, you will have sex with somebody, and that, then you feel me? After you don't have sex with them, you, you be like, damn. You feel me? It, it, whatever. You feel me? Like I could have went without that. I could I could have went in. I could have went and got some money. I could have went in. I could have went and played basketball. Even, I could have went and did something so much better. You feel me? Like like the, the, the flesh really ain't. It, it, and that's that, that's, that's going by the spirit of Eve and Esau. Eve had she had had that that forbidden fruit, man. Everybody think it's flesh. You feel me? It, it, it's flesh. Is gonna gonna be the death of you, man. It, it, it ain't it ain't the, the flesh is not it. You feel me? Cause, cause only um, because you can get sick. You feel me? You can die. You feel me? You, you one minute you mad, one minute you sad. You feel me? You you end up hurting yourself, end up hurting somebody. Why? Because you operating in the flesh, man. The, 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 the flesh is really 
if the flesh is really a curse. You know what I'm saying? That's, right. that's, that's why we need them spiritual bodies. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, just read the Book of Jude, man. The Book of Jude it, tell, it tells you about it talks about uh, these these bodies. They just everlasting chains, man. You know, that, that's all they are. That's why. Uh, uh, that's why. Uh, Ecclesiastes, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. talks about. I, I, I posted that. Yeah. Say, the highest place of judgment. Exactly. Yeah, he I said, more of us are under the sun, the place of judgment, man. Because it's just, these bodies, it's, these are where judgment is casted out, man. Like, like, uh, like, they, like we always say, man, you see somebody walking around with, with, you know, one foot, you know, you know what I'm saying? Uh, amputated, anything, you know, heart defects, any, anything, man. Anything, anything that you be going through. Anything people be going through on a day to day basis, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, it's, it's the place of judgment, man. You see somebody die, guess what? That was judgment. Whether you like it or not, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it was judgment, man. The scriptures prove that time and time again. You know, there's, there's countless, there's count, countless scriptures to prove to prove that, you know what I'm saying? When someone dies, that's, that's a judgment. Man. You know, right. they, they, the, the spirit is like it. But the, the spirit, the spirit go back up to the most high, you know what I'm saying? And if he if he see fit, he gonna send you right back to into another judgment. You know what I'm saying? Like he nothing you can't run away from you know what i'm saying my dog was saying you know there ain't nothing you can do well like uh you know what i'm saying yeah i was shy you know if i if i pray you know what i'm saying maybe i was shy you're gonna you know you're gonna be like nah man you're gonna be you're gonna have to be hold you're gonna be held accountable for everything you do just like i'm just about you put out just think about like you know i'm thinking about now just think about going back to the x days we probably we probably was you know thinking like oh man we're straight we're gonna get away with this and then but now look we back here we back in america we back, we back we regenerated back back in these everlasting chains again back going through it catching out hell that's why you see that's why you see people going out man you feel me you feel me you feel me in the mind people going through like you say people um being born still born people born, being born all kind of defects or me you know he, he grew up he done, he done lived his whole life then he just led chopped off you see a brother you see a dude in a wheelchair with no nose man no legs Eight. Eight, you know what I'm saying? Went on. That's that judgment, man. You feel me? And, and then he, he probably lived good. He probably think, well, why, why the hell this happened to me? He don't understand. The whole time, you feel me? What's how I judge from his past? Like, my, not even that life before, it could be, you feel me? You feel me? The other life, you know what I'm saying? But you feel me? We the same, man. Keep coming back and over, over and over again, man. We regenerate every three, four generations, man. So you know, feel me? That's how you can tell that, that this, this, this nation wicked as hell, man. Because, like, you know, you got people with amputated body parts and all these things, things of that nature. But they out here doing, you know, like fashion shows and shit. They making light of it, you know what I'm saying? They trying to, you know, it, man, you should, you should be at a lower state. You should be sad all the time wondering, like, damn, what, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I need to, I need to, I need to shape right, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, I, but... I just Christian say, man, these people, you know, they have no knowledge, man. You know, they, they sign as children with no knowledge. They don't, they don't understand that, you know what I'm saying, this happened because he was wicked, you know what I'm saying, in the past life. They don't, they don't understand things like that. Like, shit, even in the ancient days, shit, what, what, what was the uh, two men of the Lord doing when they seen somebody going off, especially on the Sabbath? And y'all was thrown right there, y'all put to death right there, man. So, you know, <clears throat> people feared to go off and, and back in the ancient days. You know, even though people were still going off, but now, see, if people don't got that fear, and they do that shit with me, man, you know, com comfortably. Uh, he brought his heart real quick. Cause that's another good point, though, because back in the, uh, in the ancient days, yeah, we probably was thinking we were going to get away with it, but we still had more knowledge to understand. Like, when we seen somebody like that, or seen a blind man, seen somebody, you know, that, that was lame and had defense, we understood, we, we understood that, uh, yeah, this had to be something, something that he did his past life. Or his, his, his daddy or his, or his yeah, grandfather did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, his granddaddy must have been. Uh, yeah. uh, I'm, I'm gonna read it real fast. John 9 and 1. This is uh, the book of John 9 and 1. It says, And how shall I pass by? And he saw a man which was blind from his birth. And his disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did it sin, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? And how shall I answer? Neither have his man, neither have this man seen nor his parents, but the works of Yahweh should be made manifest in him. You know, sometimes the, the most high do that, so so his works can be manifested, man, so his name can be glorified. Sometimes he most high put you to hell just so he can be glorified, because you gotta understand it's not about us, man. It's not about it's not about us in, in, in these fleshly bodies, man. You see what I'm saying? It's not about us in, in these carnal minds. It's not about us. It's ultimately it's all this for the glory of Yahweh by the end, just like I was listening to uh, the video on, on back here, man. The true minds of the Lord and the, the true minds of the Father and Son out, man. They ain't not going nowhere. All these false names, these idol names, uh, uh, all these false gods, they're not going to be glorified. Like, like he was saying last count, man. 
Come to me and when, when shit really get popping off, they're gonna be looking for the men of the Lord. They're gonna be, what you would say? Y'all, yeah, y'all buy shit. What you, what's that name you were saying? The people gonna be copping on that lane, man. They gonna be wanting to come to the true living God because they gonna understand that they ain't these men be prophesying in that name all this time, telling them this was gonna happen. This was gonna be the works of y'all buy shit. This ain't the works of Caesar Boys. This ain't the works of uh, all these different names that y'all be calling on. But just back to the point, like it, like it was saying, man, if you, we had we had more uh, more knowledge to understand. Like we see somebody, if we had more knowledge of judgment, man, or understanding, okay, they he, he in this case, he either had to sin or his parents had to sin, you know what I'm saying? One of his forefathers, what? Just, uh, just a quick point, just like he was saying, man, sometimes the most high he'll do things like that. Like, like, like he said, man, he he, made, he, uh, he was saying this blind man is here, so that way, you know what I'm saying, the spirit of the most high be made manifest so he can, you know, so he can show his works into the most high. And that, that's the same thing that he did with like like Pharaoh, like he talks about in Romans 9. You know what I'm saying? He hardened Pharaoh's heart. Why? So he could he could, you know what I'm saying, he could show his power through through Pharaoh. He could he could, you know what I'm saying? He showed the Israelites at that time, you know what I'm saying, this is what's gonna happen, you know what I'm saying, when you go against me. You know, you're gonna have to go through this slavery, you're gonna have to go through these hard times, you know what I'm saying? You know, so on and so forth. Same thing now, man. People understand, people still don't understand people like most people don't even consider no one ask Christ, why do we go in slavery? Why, why would we put in slavery all that time? Why are we still here in, in the land of our captives, man, being oppressed, man? Why are we the first, why are we the first, first fight, last hire, man? Why are we the ones strung out on dope? Why, why are we the ones drunks, man? Why, 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 why are we in this estate, man? Why are we the ones, you know, feel me, want to deal with our kind of witchcraft and voodoo little? <laughs> he seen us, he, he seen us how that is. Nah, he always got that. But damn, back to the point, it's like it, man. <laughs> Most people don't even consider, man, because you feel me, what, that, that's the doings of y'all by Shemel Shaf, for his glory, man, for, for his name to be magnified, man, he, he doing it on purpose, like you said, going to the camp with a pharaoh, man, you feel me, that, that, that's why he going hard to Esau, hard to people don't understand, why Esau keep coming down with all this, with, with all this, you feel me, with all this anger, why you, why you trying to come out with MOTB, why you trying to get everybody part, why you trying to, why you trying to come out with all these different diseases, you feel me, you feel me, all these, you know, Juice, juice. I can't even say the name, but you know, people feel me, you gotta consider why, man. It's all the doings of y'all by Shia Shah, man. So he could be glorified once being let in, man. Just going back to uh, you seen the point. But just going back to uh, when the brother brought out John 6 and 6 and 3, this Romans 8 and verse 6 that for to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritual minded is life and peace, man. So hey, that's self explanatory, man. Hey, you out here being wicked minded. You know, things of that nature, you know, giving it to the flesh, and hey, it's death, man. What, what the scriptures say, the wages of sin is death. You understand? And people don't consider that on you know, why people uh, committing suicides and shit like that. Because hey, they out here sinning, man. You know, and the Lord, and the Lord putting those spirits on there on the eighth. Man, he say, hey, man, fuck, I'm gonna kill myself. The hell with my kids, the hell with what we want on. Hey, man, because they out here sinning, man. You know? <laughs> That's why I was yeah, man, that's why your house shot is so important, man. Because you just said the way you sing is death. So you know what I'm saying? What chance? What chance would you have without without your house shot to get into the kingdom of heaven? You have no chance. You know what I'm saying? You would be just like your average wicked ass two third J. You know what I'm saying? But since your house shot came on the scene, you know what I'm saying? He, you know, he, he's that he's that mediator because we can't get to the Father but through him. You know what I'm saying? So uh, like I was watching the video earlier with uh, GMS uh, Yuan Yuanathon, and he was saying, uh, you know. Uh, when people get bugged out, one of the one of the first things they do is diminish, you know what I'm saying? The, you know what I'm saying? The uh the importance of your Howard shot. You know what I'm saying? They always, you know, they try to get straight to your Howard, then they can just get to to the most high your Howard by shooting your shot, you know, on their own. But no, you, you know what I'm saying? You can't you can't enter into it. What's the scripture say about uh, another door? John 10. You know what I'm saying? We're just gonna continue on reading this verse seven. He say, because the front of mine is enmity the enmity against the most high against the heavenly father but it is <clears throat> sorry but it is not subject to the law of the heavenly father neither indeed can be so then they they are in the flesh cannot please the heavenly father man hey, if you out here pleasing the flesh you understand hey, doing the things in this world hey you cannot please the heavenly father man hey you're not abiding his love man because what you, because what you ain't doing Doing what? Uh, doing the will that he commanded us to do. Verse nine, just to finish it, he say, "But ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit, man. And we in the spirit, and we out here on the highways and byways, shit. It's windy and shit, down and cold. You understand? And we ain't have to be out here, you know. But the Lord put that spirit on us, you know. And we doing it through the Lord's will. You understand? He say, if so be that the spirit of the heavenly Father dwell in you. Now that if now if any man have not the spirit of Hamashiach." 
or not the spirit of the anointing. He is not of his. You understand? So self explanatory again. Yeah. Brother, brother, find a uh, close the pre-sale. You said what now? Find a close the pre-sale. Uh, this is really kind of off topic, but I was just like I said, I was watching the video from Genius You Want to Find earlier. You know, and it, 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 you know, it's just it's just a uh, it's just a reminder as a thing that you need to, that, that we as a uh, you know what I'm saying as aspiring you know what I'm saying to hopefully lit you know what I'm saying we as to hopefully hopefully lit this is what we need to be aspiring for. You know, it's uh, Second Edges. Uh, two and it starts at uh, 40, 42. You know what I'm saying? And this is just a vision that that, that Ezra had about, uh, you know what I'm saying, about, about that about that crowning. You know what I'm saying? We, uh, you know what I'm saying? In the middle of the Lord receiving that crown is, you know, basically that, that well done. You know what I'm saying? That well done, my good and faithful servant. You know what I'm saying? These are things that we that we need to be striving for, right? These are things, these are, you know what I'm saying? Like, like the, uh, like the treasures, you know what I'm saying? You got, you got to build your treasures up. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be rich in these things, going back to the title. You gotta be rich in these in these things, you know what I'm saying? To uh you know what I'm saying to 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 uh <laughs> Damn. They be, they be looking, all three all three of cars doing that though. <laughs> they be looking, boy, but uh you gotta uh damn so lucky. I don't know if you got oh yeah. You got you got these are the type of trust that you gotta build up, man. Cause like uh like how was y'all said in Matthew and in Luke, uh you know what I'm saying, where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. I'm saying so when you build, when you when you got your treasure when your treasure's in the, in, the, in the kingdom you know what I'm saying when you trying to get to the kingdom when you when you striving for that you know what I'm saying your heart gonna be in the in the right in, your, in the right place but this is a uh, second edge was too I, I mean if y'all while I was looking for a closer preacher I'm just gonna read this is uh second edge was two and forty two it says I Ezra saw upon the Mount Sion a great people whom I could not number and they all praised the Lord with songs you know and it, it speaks to that in uh in Revelation. You know what I'm saying? Where that uh they had they had the most high's name written in their forehead, you know what I'm saying? They all sound they all sung the same song. You know what I'm saying? They, they knew that song, right? Uh, verse 43 it says, and in the midst of them there was a young man of high stature, taller than all the rest. And upon every one of their heads he set he set crowns and was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly. And we, you know what I'm saying, we're gonna read on through, but you know, it's pretty obvious who, who that person was setting the crowns on the head, right? Uh, verse 44 it says so i asked the angel and said sir what are these and he answered unto me and said these these be they which have put off the mortal clothing the mortal clothing is, is what is it's these flesh these, these fleshly desires man it's, you know what i'm saying these things that that uh like how should i said these things that can uh that can uh come up and, and rust and, and you know what i'm saying Mark, like it, you know these things can decay you know you're trying to build up treasures in this earth these things can be turned to dust you know they can be turned to nothing they can be stolen you know what i'm saying they can be burnt up quick you know what i'm saying it's, these are these are nothing but when you're building up when you're building up your uh your treasures in the kingdom those they can't be taken away man you can't can nobody take that away but you know what i'm saying but the most high you have about you shot but if you're giving it to you freely you know what i'm saying it's, it's, you know what i'm saying there's nothing there's nothing that can that can take that away if you're doing it in truth and sincerity uh, I'm just gonna read verse. Uh, I'm just gonna read, start at verse 44 again. It says, "And so I asked the angel and said, Sir, what are these?" He answered and said unto me, "These be they that have put off the mortal clothing and have put on the immortal, and have confessed the name of the Most High. Now they are crowned and receive song of uh, uh, arms." So like it. But that's why, and that's this another thing why the, why the, uh, the name of the Most High is so important, man. You gotta know the Father's name is Yahweh. You know what I'm saying? You gotta know. You know the son's name is Yahweh Shai, right? You you gotta know these things, cause like uh like the scriptures say, man, his name is a strong tower, man. He's not he's not just, just some names just gloss over and and, and and use, you know what I'm saying, and just just use vainly, you know what I'm saying? Just just be spouting out the name with no with no purpose, man. He, you know that's 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 the, that's the name of the most high, man. You gotta take that serious, you know what I'm saying? But um uh, uh, verse 46 it says, Then said I unto the angel, What young person is it that crowned them and given them alms in their hands? So he said, so he answered and said unto me, it is the son of the most high whom they have confessed in the world. And that's what we out here doing, man. We confessing the, the son of the most high, who is Yahweh Shai, you know what I'm saying? We confessing, you know what I'm saying, his name, right? The, the true, the true name, Yahweh Shai, like I said. And we, we telling them, you know what I'm saying? You got to come back into this fold, man. We, we confessing, we confessing, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, like Paul said, he, uh, Paul said in Acts 20, you know, I have, I've not shunned to, uh, to give you, roughly paraphrasing, I've not shunned to give you all the counsel of the most high. You know what I'm saying? He's saying your blood off my hands. You know what I'm saying? We, we confess it. We, we, don't, we don't got blood on our hands. There's, uh, 
we're gonna read verse 47 again it says so he answered and said unto me it is the son of the most high whom they have confessed in the world and then began i greatly to commend them that stood stiffly for the name of the lord then the angel said unto me go thy way and tell my people what manner of things and how great wonders of the lord thy power thou hast seen so you know what i'm saying like i said it was a vision that edge was the edge was saw but these are things this is what we striving for man. we striving to get those, that crown of life you know what i'm saying we, we want that everlasting life you know you got the point the point of me reading that was just we got to keep that in mind man it's you're not you know you're not you're not really gonna receive rewards you know what i'm saying in this in this life you know what i'm saying where we at right now for, for for these things that we're doing you know what i'm saying but you you best believe you know what i'm saying the most high got his angels you know when you do your works, you know what I'm saying? Like, like if I do if I do a video right on, on YouTube and they get one view, two views, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, it don't matter how many views I got. As long as you know, this this between me and the Most High, you know what I'm saying? I'm working out my salvation. I'm trying to do the work, you know what I'm saying? So the, so the, you know what I'm saying? So I can be right with, with the Most High. You know, I, I don't care how many. It don't matter how many views I get. You know, like, like we always say, man, everything is up to the Most High anyway. So why, why would I be stressed? You know, why would I be tripping about you know if I get one view, two views, or well, hundred views? You know what I'm saying? It, matter you know i'm doing this for the most high anyway but like i said the point of that was just to, to uh, a reminder of what we striving for man that's to get that kind of life i was gonna say that was a good point you know, just that's why we said to be pleased to y'all by seeing y'all shine not pleases a man man like i said it's not for entertainment earlier man we're not here to please man we're not out here to please our viewers we're not out here to you know I ain't please nobody but y'all by shot us man. Cause at the end of the day, that's gonna be the judge at the end of the day. Man, like man, man can't man not gonna say man can't grant you the kingdom heaven. Man can't say, hey, yeah, yeah you meant to keep him heaven. You you did you did let that's how y'all watch me out of shot us man. You know what I'm saying? Come bring this up before you said that. Acts five and verse twenty-nine and read, then Peter and the other apostles answered and said we ought to obey the heavenly father rather than man. So you understand? Kind of just going out over the brother was saying, I'm gonna bring this up before I bring out the uh, closing precept. You understand? Know just, well, uh, just because it was on my spirit. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 46, and verse 1. It says, To the chief music musician for the sons of Korah, a song upon Alamoth, the heavenly father is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble, man. So, hey. During the time of trouble, and that's what's going to come, man. Jacob's trouble, you understand the uh, the, the Quran and the RFI detail, and saying World War Three. Hey, who who is our strength and our refuge? And the, the, the heavenly Father, you how about him seeing our shout, man? He say a very a very present help in trouble. I'm gonna just jump to verse ten to get to the point. He say, be still and know that I am Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. He said, I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. You understand? So the same way. Uh, the most high is going to be entered on the left hand the same way it's going to be entered on the right hand, man. You understand? So, you got to understand, man. Hey, it's going to be some situations, hey, you're going to be uncomfortable. You know, hey, it's going to be some situations, hey, you, hey, you got to deal with it for a few until, until y'all will possibly y'all start coming through, man, and, and get you out of that situation. You understand? Hey, the Lord said be patient, man. Hey, you got to be patient. You understand? And we wanted to get that out real quick, man, because, hey, Coming into the times of trouble, hey, we gotta pray that the Lord protect us uh, from these evil, uh, these evil spirits, these evil times, man. Things like that, you understand? To increase our faith, you know, and just things of that nature, you understand? And, and I'll finish it off with this one. It's the book of Romans, the 13th chapter. Unless you want to bring us something real quick. Uh, just one last quick point. So like, that, that, was, that was a good piece of it, a good point. Because most people like to say, all these troubles come to pass. You gonna have to make sure you move in that right spirit. What's that spirit? That's the Holy Spirit, man. The spirit of Yahweh by Shinab Shine, man. Cause what he he already did this. He came down as an example, man, going through the trials and tribulations and enduring, man. That's why the scripture say he that endureth until the end shall be saved, man. You see what I'm saying? We, we got we gotta make sure we move in that right spirit, Yahweh by Shinab Shine. So we, we we able to have that mind and spirit to, to overcome and endure all these things that's coming ahead of our way, man. Like you say, these evil spirits, these these, you feel me, these players of the world, man, you know, being patient, Th things of that, man. We gotta make sure we got we got all these things added to us. You know, you're ready to endure, man. Uh, this, I was just going to bring out this quick point. What you said about you got to have patience, man. This is uh, Chirac 2. And um, I started 13. It says, Woe unto him that is faint hearted, for he believeth not. Therefore shall he not be defended. Woe unto you that have lost patience 
and what will you do when the Lord shall visit you? It says, uh, they fear the Lord. They that fear the Lord will not disobey his word. They that love him will keep his ways. Man. So, like, just the point, you know, going to help lost patients, man. What you going to do when the Lord come visit you? He, when, you know, when, like he's doing right now, he's, he's, he's visiting the earth, man. You, you know, you, it's easy to see through prophecy, and then you can, you know, at some, at sometimes, you know, what I'm saying you can see it with your own eyes when you see, you know, you may see a chair, you know, what I'm saying, who knows? But going to that lost patience, man. You got to, like the brother said, you got to look to the end. Uh, man, I forgot to say this, man, but Lord, hey, he very balanced, man. So the same way he gonna be, you know, hey, uh, causing a lot of these deaths and shit on the earth, you know, the same way he gonna be taking care of the elect, man. You know, he ain't finna just end up his left hand and have his left hand doing all the work and he ain't doing nothing with the right hand. So, uh, you know, false balance is an abomination to the most high. Exactly, man. So, hey, the Lord's gonna be taking care of you, man. You can't lose that faith. You know, hey, you might be, you might fuck around, got captured. Now you in a FEMA account. You, uh, you getting tortured. Now you done lost faith. Damn, man, damn, yo, man, damn, you ain't. He ain't tell me how to go through all this, you know. And they always gonna be the one that ain't willing to go through that straight gate. You know, as soon as you start down, uh, talking down on the most high, hey, that's when something big gonna happen. Now that, now that, uh, the gate done broke down and some bullshit done happened, now everybody escaping the theme camp. But you talk down on the most high, shit, now you done got down, uh, shit, they go ahead and just finish you off. Fuck it. So, see, you wanna talk down on me? All right, boom. Now you done got shine in the face because you wanted to talk shit about the most high, the most high done hurt you. Ultimately, we know, you know, if you're doing shit like that, you wasn't a part of the elect anyway. Anyway, you understand? Hey, you gonna be uncomfortable in the times of trouble. You ain't gonna be still be comfortable and shit like that, man. You know, hey, that's part of getting through the, uh, being tested. You know, being tried, always say tried as gold, man. You know what I'm saying? You gonna be tried. You know, fire, man. You know? Fire hot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's not, yeah. walk, walk through some fire, it ain't easy. You know? It ain't easy, man. But I'm just finishing off with this one. This is the book of Romans, the 13th chapter. In verse 11, and it reads, And that, knowing the time, that now is the high time to awake out of sleep, but now is our salvation nearer than when we believe, man. Hey, now is the time to wake out of sleep. Hey, we seeing what's going on over there in the Holy Land in Israel, man. Hey, we seeing the earthquake. Hey, an earthquake just hit Afghanistan. I think it just killed over 2,000 people, man. You know, hey, we seeing the earthquakes. We seeing the plagues. Hey, we seeing the famine. Back to back, man. Hey, the Lord speaking these things. You understand? Hey, we seeing the, uh, the, the cherry of science, man. Hey, we seen a lot of these things, man. Hey, hey, see, we see that it's only three to five more prophecies, man. Prophecies that got to come to pass, man, until we out of this damn place, man. So, hey, man, now it's time to, hey, wake up and sleep. What do you say, verse 12? The, the night is far spent. The day is at hand. So, what is that day? Hey, the second return, you hour by seeing y'all shot, man. He say, let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light, man. So, hey, now it's time to cast out all that wickedness, you know, all the bullshit that we was doing in the world, and now it's time to put on that armor of light, man. You know, do the will of the Father, and hey, be righteous. And hey, we ain't got too long to the family of the world get here. You understand? And hey, we won't, you know, hey, the man on the highways about it, hey, we ain't gonna be out here no more, man. You know, the social media shit might be down. You might not even, not even have access to your phone and shit no more, man. You know, down, these folks got uh, high technology, man. Hey, oh, they might do that damn what it's called. Uh, yeah, the MP attack, man. That's a lot of things that they can do, man. You don't have no phone. Hey, so you got to store this this gospel, man, this word, man, inside of you, man. You understand? You got to know the scripture. You got to learn the scripture, like man. Said, like, it's like a seal of revelation. You know, they have the seal of, of, of the hour in their foreheads, man. If that, that's their truth. They see it in their foreheads, man. If they, if they got this knowledge, man. They see it in them. Like you said. Ah, because ultimately, ultimately, that's the spirit. That's why you gotta pray. That's why you gotta pray like David prayed, man. That, that, he, that, you, that he not, uh, that he take not the spirit away from him. You know what I'm saying? Ultimately, all, all this wisdom come through the Holy Spirit. You know what I'm saying? With, with cocky dust. But uh, just, just another quick point. Uh, what the brother was saying, man, with, with the um, with the feminine of the word, man, because that's, that's a great point. Because with the feminine of the word, because we gotta understand the elect seal at that point. Like, like the like the, like the men, like, like the uh, brothers and men of God, the new judge, you are saying. Because the work done, the work is finished. Ain't, ain't, ain't no need to try to go out and, and preach to see the elect. Because that's what the whole point of going on our ways and byways and preaching teaching for is what? To see the elect, man. So all the brothers can come and tell the truth and knowledge, man. So once the, once the family of the word comes, you gotta understand it, it's over. You feel me? Your lot gonna be decided at that time. You feel me? You gonna know, like I just said at the end, you gonna know who my chosen was. It's either gonna, it, 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 it
You see what I'm saying? You feel me? Like, especially when they film the world hitting, man. Because the work going to be done. You feel me? It's going to be up from there. You see what I'm saying? And just like, uh, like you said with the MP tag, I was thinking about the movie Bushwick. Because you know, people going to be losing their mind like that with a woman. She, she stated, got to call my grandma. I got to get my grandma's house. Yeah, I got to get my grandma. I got to see my sister. Yeah. Man, damn. <laughs> you, you, you trying to save them? You trying to save your damn life? That's according to the scripture, man. Any man that hate not is his mother, his father, his brother, his sister. I'm not saying you gotta live to hate these people, but if you gotta understand that you gonna get them back and keep them to heaven, man. You can't worry about grandma, man. Grandma ain't wanna hear the truth when when when, when the door is open. Hey, the hell with them, man. My dudes ain't wanna hear it. Pops ain't wanna hear it. Your sister, your brother. Hey, you'll get them back in the kingdom of heaven, man. So I'll see you later. You know. That's right. That's part of that inflation, man. That's part of the truth, man. That's part of, you know, that's what it like, like no scripture say, slacking, man. Or, like the scripture say, who have sat down to build a tower and, and then count the cost, man. You didn't count the cost when you came to the truth, man. You got to count the cost to make sure you're able to finish building that tower, man. I, I'm going to stop building a tower. I got to go get my grandma. I got to go get my dosia, man. I got to, you know, forget all that, man. Over, I didn't know, like I said, I didn't know I was going to go in the family camp. I, I didn't know, I didn't know he said I was going to come trying to get me. I didn't know I was going to be persecuted. I didn't know I was going to lose my job. I didn't know I was going to be talking about and look before and down. You know, even these things, you got to count the cost of coming to the truth, man. It's a bump, uh, it's a bump and roll, man. This ain't, this, this ain't no, this, this ain't that, 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 that nice shit, man. This ain't, you know, the truth ain't nothing nice, man. Ah, uh, I got to close the precept. This is Matthew 24 and 6. And you should hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. I'm about to close out, giving all praise, honor and glory to the Most High. Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Kakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom, shalom to those who live.